Hi everyone, today I will show you, how to fix MW2 not launching problem. Before moving on to the video, you can support me by liking the video and deliver this video to people who are looking for this video like you, let's start. Our first solution has several steps. After doing these steps, we will try to enter the game. First, we open Steam. We go into the library. Right click on Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Click on Manage and Browse Local Files. In this way, we opened the game's file location. We find the COD.x file in this file and right click on the file. Click Properties. From the top menu, we click on Compatibility. We select Disable Full Screen Optimizations. Click on Apply and OK. For the second step, click on Documents from the left menu. Right click on the Call of Duty file and delete it. This file will be created automatically when we open the game again. Our files were not deleted. For our third step, we type graphic settings in the search. Here are the applications on our computer. Click Browse. We find the Steam folder. After we find the Steam folder, we click on the Steam Apps folder. Click on Camin folder. Here are the games we have installed on Steam. Click on Call of Duty. Click once on the COD.x file and click Add. Call of Duty has been added. Click on Options. We select High Performance. In this way, our computer will provide high performance when running Call of Duty. We click Save. Our fourth step is to uninstall other anti-cheat applications installed on our computer. For example, Faceit, Riot Vanguard. These applications conflict while running Call of Duty and prevent the game from opening. To delete, we write Control Panel in the search section. Click on Uninstall a program under Programs. We remove anti-cheat applications. Then you can quickly download these applications again while entering the game. However, while playing Call of Duty, you need to uninstall these applications. For example, we right-click on Riot Vanguard and click Uninstall. Say yes to the pop-up window. The app has been removed. We have uninstalled the anti-cheat program. For our fifth step, we open the Task Manager. You can open it by typing it in the search field. As you can see, here are the applications running on our computer. Among these applications, we need to close the applications that you know what they do but do not need while playing games. For example, Discord, Xbox Game Bar. Especially if the Xbox Game Bar is open, right-click and end task. We have closed unnecessary applications running in the background, like Xbox Game Bar, Razer, Logitech and NVIDIA apps. For our sixth step, we open Steam. Right-click on Call of Duty and click Properties. We remove the Enable the Steam Overlay While In-Game option in the General section. This was our first solution. Now you can enter the game and check if the error is resolved. If this solution didn't work we'll move on to the second solution. Our second solution is to move the Call of Duty from one disk to another. As you can see, when we click on this PC here, there are multiple disks. If your computer has SSD and your game is not SSD, we need to move the game to SSD disk. Because SSD runs games better. We open Steam. Click on Steam in the top left. We click on Settings. Click Downloads. Click on Steam Library Folders. As you can see there is one available now. Click on Plus. The disks are showing. We select the SSD disk. Or if it is SSD, we choose the other disk. Click Add. Disk added. Now what we need to do is to go back to the first disk, click the Call of Duty and click Move. I will demonstrate this process on another small game as there is not enough space on my SSD drive. Click on the game and click Move. We select the disk. Click on Move. Say yes to the pop-up window. Moving the game is complete. Click Close. When we click on the disk that we just added, we see that the game has been moved here. Many users on Reddit mentioned that this solution works. 
This was our second solution. If you don't have another disk or you try this solution and still get the error, we'll move on to the third solution. Our third solution is to use an older version of the video card driver. NVIDIA's current driver that we are using now does not run Modern Warfare 2. Therefore, we will switch to a more stable version. Before we do this, we need to uninstall the installed driver. Type, add or remove, in the search. Click on add or remove programs. Type NVIDIA in the search box. As you can see, there are applications related to NVIDIA here. Click on the three dots next to the NVIDIA graphics driver. Click uninstall. Say yes to the pop-up window. The recording was interrupted because I removed the video card during recording. After uninstalling the driver, it will ask us to restart the computer. After restarting, we can download the stable NVIDIA driver. I will put the download link in the description of the video. After entering the site, click download. We select the location we want to save and click save. Here it will download an 800 MB driver file. The file is downloaded. Click on file. Say yes to the pop-up window. Here we click OK without changing anything. We are waiting for the process to finish. driver loading screen came up. Click on agree and continue. We select the option that says recommended and click next. We wait for the process to finish. After the installation is complete, you can check if the error is fixed. This was our third solution. Our fourth solution is to update the BIOS. If the BIOS is not up to date, we may be encountering this error. Depending on the model of your motherboard, the site where you will update the BIOS may vary. I will not show the update in this video, but I will leave a video about BIOS update. This is our fourth solution. Our fifth solution is to play the game on Battle.net instead of Steam. First we will refund the game from Steam. Then we will buy the game on the Battle.net. If the problem is not caused by the computer in the game, but by Steam, this solution will work for us. And this was our fifth and final solution. We have come to the end of the video. I hope one of these solutions fixed your problem. If the video helped you, don't forget to like the video. You can also subscribe to my channel to support me. Take care, and see you in the next video.